G'day Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. Boss have just put out a brand new Wazacraft pedal, the BP1W Booster Preamp, and it has three boost modes on here. One imitating the Boss CE1's preamp, another the iconic Roll and Space Echo, and then you've got a third mode in there which is labeled Natural. There's two controls on there, one for level and one for gain, so you can use the level basically as an overall boost, and gain is going to introduce different clipping characteristics on there. There's also a little switch on the back which selects between a standard and a vintage buffer mode on here that we will hear. I think a lot of people just want to hear what this does to a general guitar signal, so I'm going to dive straight in. A big thank you to Ed and the team at Boss here in Australia for letting me borrow one of these for this launch video. Let's go. The first thing that I want to demonstrate on this pedal are the two different buffer selections on here. On the back of the pedal, near the power input jack, there is a tiny little switch which lets you select between a standard and a vintage buffer. So what I've done is I've set up the pedal for unity gain, level control at one o'clock, gain all the way down, central mode, let's hear it on the neck pickup tapped of this DGTSE. <laughs> The standard mode is just a little bit brighter on there, so this would be a case of kind of matching it to your guitar. If you've got a darker guitar with humbuckers, you might want to roll with the standard mode. If you've got a brighter guitar with single coils, the vintage mode might be a little bit nicer. I'm going to introduce a little bit of gain in here now, and I want to showcase the difference between the three main modes on here. Again, we'll start in the center mode, and I'll let you hear the difference in character, and I'll switch between the buffers as we go. I'll put all the information on the screen, starting out in the center with the standard buffer. setup I've got, I pretty much prefer the standard mode on there. Let's crank the gain up a little bit more on here, and I might compensate by turning the level down a little bit. I kind of like just leaving the level at that unity gain setting for now. I'll crank the gain up to around one o'clock, we'll take it all the way up, and then I'll start playing around by balancing out the gain and level and switching between the different modes. I'm not going to change the buffer settings in this one. <laughs>
modes sound pretty good and they basically give you more of what you like about the guitar and amp setup there. I think with the gain around noon and the level control around one o'clock is my favorite. One thing that I want to test now with the different buffers is how this cleans up. So I'll let you hear the sound with the pedal bypass. I'm going back to the neck tapped pickup on this DGT. And what I'll do is kick the pedal in for a boost, then wind the volume control back. And I just want to see how the buffer changes things. I'll start out on the standard mode and how the different preamp modes work with that. So uh, let's go. I'll start again on the neck pickup. That makes a whole lot of sense in there. Having the different buffer selections like we heard earlier in the video is pretty subtle, but it massively changes how bright the guitar is going to come across when you start winding the volume control on there. So again, if you've got a darker sounding guitar, you might want to leave that on the standard mode and kind of get better volume control cleanup. If you've got something that already has really nice volume control cleanup, like this guitar has, even for a so-called kind of budget guitar, then you probably want to leave it on the vintage mode on there. So I can actually see two different use cases for the buffer in there. Anyway, it works really, really well. Very, very natural sounding. I think I prefer the kind of RE mode on there out of the three of them. Obviously, if you wanted to do the Frusciante thing, the CE mode is why you're going to be interested in this. And the natural mode, you know, I don't think many people are going to grab this just for the natural mode. They're going to be super into the RE or the CE mode, but it's no slouch in there. It's a lot more transparent. What I want to do now, and I think the really cool thing about this pedal would be to pair it up with, say, a standard Boss Chorus pedal. I've got a CH1 sitting over there, which can do the wet dry thing that a CE1 does but it doesn't have the same preamp as the CE one. So I wanna see if this can add a little bit of that kind of mojo to an otherwise pretty decent sounding chorus. Let's try it. Any excuse to shoehorn some glorious boss modulation into a video, I'll let you hear the dry tone. Then I'm gonna kick the CH one in for a very subtle chorus. This is running in stereo, so you'll hear it as a big spatial widening effect on there. What happens there though, is you do lose a little bit of perceived volume. So I'll bring that back with the BP one, and then I'll increase the gain on that CE mode to add a little bit of that old school CE one mojo. <laughs> Thank you. 
actually works pretty well. I don't have a real CE1 here anymore to compare it to, but the thing that I didn't like about the CE1 was it was really fussy about where it was in your signal chain and whether there was a buffer or not in the signal chain with this. You'd have to worry about that again. You've got a little switch on the back and the fact that that can just add a little bit of extra punch and character in there makes the humble CH1 I think sound a lot more like a vintage chorus, which is really cool. We heard it doing the Chili Peppers thing. We heard it doing the Blackmore thing straight into an amp on there. Again, this isn't probably going to change your life that much. It's one of those things that is just going to enhance what you've already got in there. And I can see this becoming an always on pedal for a lot of people, again, with those buffer options, because you can use it to enhance things like the volume control roll off on your guitar and just to generally sweeten up your rig. And like anything boss, it's pretty much bulletproof. And I like that they've not overcomplicated this. The uh, most fiddly thing again is that buffer switch and that's probably a set and forget thing per guitar and it's on the back of the pedal. So that's the BP-1 from Boss. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'm always curious to know what pedal would you like to see get given the Wazacraft treatment next? Uh, my vote is kind of for the BF-2 and the high band flanger in one. Boss, if you're listening, that would be pretty sick but I would love to hear from all of you because I know people are gonna have some great ideas. Thanks to Ed and the team here in Australia for getting one of these to me so I can make a video with it for launch. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support me directly, check the video description for a bunch of ways to do that. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you next time.